Hello. Good day to all my form 5 students. Today we are here to continue on the chapter Thermochemistry Part 4 where in this part 4 teacher will concentrate on the reaction neutralization. Now neutralization was one chapter and one reaction which was introduced to students in form 4. So I hope students can remember the term neutralization and what actually neutralization means. So neutralization is a reaction between acid and base to form water. So we can even add to form water and salt. Okay, to form water and salt. So that is what we usually write. But here, water is the main component which is taken into consideration. Okay, so water is the main component which is taken into consideration. And that is the reason why the ionic equation for neutralization will be mainly hydrogen ion from acid with hydroxide ion from base or alkali to produce water. So this is the ionic equation for neutralization. Now let's go to how to interpret heat of neutralization. So we have few points or key word that changes neutralization into heat of neutralization. Now let's check it out. Huh? Okay, now, can you see heat release? Teacher have confidently wrote the word heat release. This shows that heat release shows that heat of neutralization are all exothermic. Because only in exothermic reaction, the heat will be, heat energy will be released to the surrounding. Now, when one mole of water is formed, from neutralization between acid and alkali. So in this reaction, we will be mainly looking at neutralization between acid and alkali. Now, please remember, alkali brings hydroxide ion. So in both all the examples that teacher going to uh, show to students is regarding alkali. So we are not going to use the term base or I'm not going to give example regarding base here. Right. Okay, now so let's go to heat of neutralization. Script can understand heat release. This shows that all the reaction of heat of neutralization is exothermic. Thus, the value will be negative. So, always when you look at thermochemical equation, the value of heat change will be total heat change will be negative. Okay, now, so let's go to types of combination. So here, I would like to highlight that we have four types of combination for neutralization, which is combination between strong acid and strong alkali, strong acid and weak alkali, weak acid and strong alkali, and lastly, weak acid and weak alkali. So, I hope students can understand that strong acid, strong alkali produces high amount of concentration of hydrogen and hydroxide ion. Okay, so I hope you can remember what is meant by strong acid, strong alkali. Okay, chemical substance, acid or alkali, which can ionize or dissolve in water to produce high concentration of hydrogen and hydroxide ion respectively. Now, weak acid, weak alkali. Okay, a chemical substance, maybe acid or alkali, which can ionize partially in water to produce low concentration of hydrogen and hydroxide ion respectively. So that is what students need to understand. Now, another uh, uh, concept the teacher would like to highlight here is, just say, for instance, when teachers say highest value, when teacher mention highest value, for instance, this produce 57 kilojoule per mole. Just say uh, as, a, as an example. Medium value, just say, you just say take one. Negative 53 kilojoule per mole. 
and the lowest value just say which are asking the name. Okay, maybe 50 kilo joule per mole. Okay, now students, please understand. You might be thinking because in mathematics we are taught that negative, we are taught that in mathematics negative 1 is more than negative 2. Negative 100 is more than negative 200. Okay, so please remember that this concept cannot be used for thermochemistry. Why? Because I want students to understand that the negative value used here is just to show whether this reaction is exothermic or endothermic or not. Okay, now if you follow the mathematical concept, you will be telling that this is the highest value. This will be the lowest value. Why? Because, because of thanks to the mathematical concepts, negative value. But please remember the negative value written in thermochemistry is mainly to show whether it's an exothermic or endothermic. So regardless negative or positive value, students have to look at the numbers. That means obviously 57 is higher than 53, 53 is higher than 50. So that is how you are supposed to arrange. So again, my humblest request, please don't get confused with the negative sign. Positive usually no problem, but when it comes to negative sign, that is when students make mistakes. Again, negative value, negative sign in front of the value only shows whether exothermic or endothermic. So no need to erase the value according to negative value. Alright, okay, so let's start up. Okay, now, so. Here teacher have mentioned highest value, lowest value. So can you see the combination strong acid, strong alkali produce the highest value. Weak acid, weak alkali combination produce the lowest value, heat of neutralization value. Now next comes the question why? Because heat energy release during the neutralization for weak acid and weak alkali is used to ionize or produce further hydrogen or hydroxide ion. Remember these are huh? strong alkali, strong acid produces high amount of hydrogen ion. So majority of the heat energy produced is not used for anything. So that is the reason why your thermometer can show higher temperature reading. But for when you combine example of weak acid, weak alkali, or maybe weak acid strong alkali or something, this shows that for instance, weak acid and weak alkali, they only ionize partially. So, what does these two substances do is, when they have neutralization process amongst them, they will produce heat energy. Of course, they are going to produce heat energy and the heat energy is technically like, is recycled, okay, recycled by the weak alkali and weak acid to ionized into hydrogen and hydroxide ion K. So they are reusing the heat energy produced during neutralization for ionization process. So that is the reason why weak acid and weak alkali always has the lowest value. Alright, same goes here. They, no one can win the strong acid, strong alkali. They already, already have higher supply of hydrogen, hydroxide ion. Look at this combination. Strong acid, definitely higher supply of hydrogen ion. But unfortunately, weak alkali has only ionized partially. So weak alkali has to ionize more in order to meet the, the demand of strong acid. Okay, so just say this one has only 70% hydroxide ion. Strong acid has 100% hydrogen ion. Unfortunately, weak alkali cannot meet the 100%. So, what does it do? The is the heat energy released during the neutralization is used back by this weak alkali so that it can ionize more hydroxide ion to meet the standard of this strong acid. So, that is what teacher meant by four types of combination of acid and alkali and 
different value for heat of neutralization. Now, allow me to show you two examples on how to calculate heat of neutralization. Now, in first example, teacher has given strong acid being neutralized with strong alkali. Strong alkali, sodium hydroxide, is being neutralized by strong acid. Another example of strong acid, hydrochloric acid, to produce water and sodium chloride. And look at the amount of heat. Heat of neutralization produced negative 57 kilojoule per mole. Now, this is thermal, so this is different from what teacher discussed before. This, huh? Okay, now, so you are given thermochemical equation ready. Now, what are you going to find here? Now, a teacher has given the all the information highest initial temperature. Now, here I want students to understand highest initial temperature is. Temperature of both sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid calculated. Now, second is final, highest final temperature is the one that you are going to highlight now. You are going to find now. Okay. So, using all this information, you are going to let me know how much is the te final temperature reading for this reaction. Now, calculate the reading obtained. That means the final reading obtained. So, what will be your first step? Okay, so first step, can you see students that here 1.0 mole per dm cube, 25 cm cube, 1.0 mole per dm cube, 25 cm cube. So, this is not going to produce a problem. Why? Because the amount of mole for both the substance is going to be 0.025 mole. Okay, 0.025 mole. Now, let's look at how are we going to calculate. So, this might be a bit tougher from all the other examples that I have given students so far. We are not going to, I'm going not going to give you direct. Okay, this is not a direct example of question. Huh? Okay, now, so let's look at how to find. Now, number one, mole calculator. Okay, the mole calculator. Now, find for MC theta, heat of reaction. So, Mc theta is negative 57 kilojoule divided with 0 0.025 mole. Okay. So, Mc theta is actually negative 57 kilojoule per mole. Okay. Per mole divided with 0 0.025 mole. So, that is the reason why. Divide, uh, sorry, not divide, negative, we don't need negative, sorry, 57 kilojoule per mole, sorry, times 0 0.025 mole, okay, why? Because if we divide, if we bring this mole, to divide MC theta, we will get the heat of reaction back, okay, heat of neutralization back, so, how much is it going to? So, students can start calculating 57 kilojoules. So, times 1000. Then, you times with 0 0.025. So, students will get 1425 joules. So, this is MC theta. Okay. So, if you look at our previous example, students can find the connection between mole, heat of the re uh, reaction, and heat of the neutralization. Right? Okay, now step 2. 1425 is equivalent to 50. Okay, why did I get 50? Because the total volume of sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid is 25 plus 25. So, students will get 50. Okay, so 4.2 C is 4.2 Teacher has explained all this in our video. Okay, so times the theta. So this is the increase of temperature. So now you have to determine the increase of temperature, then find the reading of date. Now, so if students calculate, you can find 1425 divided with 50 divided with 4.2. So you will find that the Increase of temperature, teacher used uh, two, uh, two decimal phase, 
seven nine degrees Celsius. So that is the increase of the temperature. So you can find that number three. The reading obtained is thirty degrees Celsius added with six point seven nine degrees Celsius, which is the final reading supposed to be thirty six point seven nine degrees Celsius. But since thermometer always have one decimal place reading, students can change this into thirty. 36.8 degrees Celsius. You must be a bit logic. Alright. So, this shows that the final reading that your thermometer is going to show is 36.8 degrees Celsius. Now, let's look at the second example. Okay. So, second example. Teacher have used ethanoic acid. Students, you must know by now. What is the profile of ethanoic acid? Ethanoic acid is an example, classic example of weak acid. Okay, which ionizes partially in water to produce low concentration of hydrogen ion. And I am mixing with sodium hydroxide, which is a strong alkali. So we are going into this combination. Okay, we are going into this combination. Now, let's look at the nature of this question. Okay. Now, volume and concentration of ethanoic acid and sodium hydroxide is already given. So, it is easier. So, you can predetermine the mole. 0 0.025 mole. Okay. 0 0.025 mole. And the highest initial temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. And the final temperature is 36 degrees Celsius. Okay, 36 degrees Celsius. Now, what do you exactly, what are you exactly supposed to find? You are supposed to find what will be the heat of reaction for this reaction. Heat of neutralization for this reaction. Right? Okay, so heat of neutralization first starts with mole. So, mole used for both of them is... 0 0.025 volt. Second, find MC theta. Okay, so MC theta, both the solution is mixed to produce 50 cm cube of volume. Thus, the, the mass will be 50 times 4.2 times. What is the change in temperature? So, theta equals to 6 degrees Celsius. Okay, so the theta is 6 degrees Celsius. So, it will be 6. So, what will be the number? 50 times 4.2 times 6. So, you will get 1, 2, 6, 0, Joule. Okay, now look for heat of neutralization. So, MC theta shows heat of reaction for this particular reaction for this particular neutralization reaction but when we are looking into the heat of neutralization i am interested in one mole of water okay i'm interested in one mole of water thus number three heat of neutralization equals to 0 0.025 mole Managed to produce 1260 joule. Now, I am not interested in 1260 joule. I am more interested in 1 mole. So, 1 mole produces. Okay, so 1 mole will produce. fifty four hundred joule. Or 50.4 kilojoule. Okay, so thus heat of neutralization. So students can write this heat of neutralization equals to negative 50.4 kilojoule per mole. Right? So students, so let's look at why suddenly negative sign. 
here because the temperature has shown that this is an endothermic reaction, sorry, exothermic reaction where heat energy is released to the surrounding. And please look at the change in temperature. The more, okay, is now if students see sodium hydroxide, same molarity, same volume. Ft, same molarity, same volume. Now, the next question, why the change in temperature is only 6 degrees here? The change of temperature is almost 7 degrees here, almost 7 degrees, 6.8 to be exact. Why the answer lies in combination of strong alkali, strong acid, weak acid, strong alkali. So, this is more than enough to show students that when you combine strong alkali, strong acid, the value is always higher compared to any other combination of weak acid, weak alkali. Thus, the heat of reaction will be negative 50.4 kilojoule per mole. So, can you compare this? Look at this. 57 kilojoule per mole versus 50.4 kilojoule per mole. Now, even though the molarity, the concentration of concentration of uh, alkali and acid is alkali and acid here, acid and this acid is going to be the same. Okay, sorry for that just now. So, even though for the concentration of acid is going to be the same, the only difference is it is going to have a different molarity, not different molarity, different amount of hydrogen ion. So that is the reason why what happens is the heat energy released during the neutralization is reused by, reused by your ethanoic acid because it's a weak acid to ionize and produce more hydrogen ion. So that is the reason why here students can see 6.79 degrees Celsius, almost 6.79 degrees Celsius, which is equal to 6.8 degrees Celsius, versus 6 degrees Celsius of increase of temperature. So we can know that ethanoic acid has used some of the heat energy released to ionize more hydrogen ion. Why? Because now it is combining with sodium hydroxide, which is a strong alkaline. Alright, so I hope students can understand what teacher have explained regarding heat of neutralization. I will see all of you in our next lesson video which discusses about heat of combination. Okay, so teacher will discuss about heat of combination, uh, combination, heat of combustion, okay, heat of combustion and also regarding fuel value will be discussed in our next video. Okay, so please watch my video a few times in order to understand the concepts. Okay, so till then, see you all. Take care.